Looks like golf season's starting extra early this year. Golf is definitely not my sport. It's finally time for playoff hockey. Tonight, the Maple Leafs face off against the Columbus Blue Jackets to kick off the playoffs and start their qualifying round series. In case you've been on Jupiter, we're in the middle of a pandemic. That's why the playoffs are gonna be different. And here's what the playoff format looks like. It's not your typical best of seven playoff series. Instead, the preliminary rounds, we're gonna have best of five. So first team to win three games moves on. It's best of seven from there on out. Now, in case you missed the exhibition games, the Columbus Blue Jackets are coming in hot off a 4-1 victory against the Boston Bruins, who the Leafs have struggled against in the playoffs for years. The Leafs also come into this game riding a wave of momentum after a 4-2 victory against arch-rival Montreal Canadiens in an exhibition game. After he got his first taste of what the NHL is kind of like in his first exhibition game, the Maple Leafs are electing to give rookie Nick Robertson a shot and a chance to play in the playoffs. And why not? He put up a point in his first game, and he had a pretty impressive, solid first outing. Tonight, he will become the first 18-year-old to debut in the playoffs since Jerome McGinley did it back in 1996. That's some pretty good company. So, who does this new format favor? Well, both teams are young, and I mean really young. The average age on each team is 26 years old, but they play a completely different style of game. The Columbus Blue Jackets play a more gritty defensive style game with head coach John Tortorella. Toronto just wins games by putting pucks in the net. You don't have to look far to see the difference in playing style. Just look at the stats. Third in goals scored for the Maple Leafs and third in goals allowed for the Blue Jackets this year. Toronto's power play was sixth in the NHL, scoring on 23% of their chances, while the Blue Jackets' power play was 27th in the league, scoring on 16% of their chances. Our penalty kill is gonna need to clean it up from what they were earlier this year, and they did, they exemplified exactly what you need to be in that exhibition game against Montreal, when they scored two shorthanded goals, one from Morgan Riley and one from Alex Kerfoot. All things considered, the advantage actually seems to go to Columbus in this series. But I think Toronto's a better team on paper and on ice. The Maple Leafs have been streaky all season long. And it's no secret that that does them no good coming into the playoffs. Especially when you play an underdog team like the Columbus Blue Jackets. I don't know if you remember this last year, but the Blue Jackets swept the President Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. The Maple Leafs cannot afford to be streaky and come out sleeping, or this playoff series will be over before it even started. The goalies should have a huge impact in this series. Freddie Anderson, his playoff experience outweighs that of both Jonas Corposalo and Elvis Merziklins. Anderson needs to have a great playoff performance here and he needs to help the Leafs win this series. I've come up with three players to watch for each team in this playoff series that I believe will be X factors for each team. If they play well enough, they can tip the scales in favor of their team. Starting off with the Columbus Blue Jackets, we have Seth Jones, Cam Atkinson, and Elvis Merzlikens. And my three players to watch from the Maple Leafs are Jacob Muzzin, Mitch Marner, and no surprise here, Austin Matthews. I expect Jake Muzzin to have a huge impact in this year's playoffs. He's got so much playoff experience winning those Stanley Cups back in Los Angeles. Did you see that hit against the Montreal Canadiens? He knocked Alex Belzeal on his butt. Anyways, guys, I'm super excited for hockey tonight. I'm going to make a recap video of every game. So hopefully the Leafs can come out of this series and advance. That way I can keep on making these preview videos for every series. So thank you for watching. Check out my other videos and my Buffalo Bills YouTube channel as well. See you guys soon.